<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to give you a little update on our, our little dog, Baby Blue. She's now about, what, seven weeks old? So it's been a couple weeks since our last little update video. But we're going to show you some things that she's up to now, show you how she's doing. She's doing better, but as you can see, she just flopped over right there. But she's picked up some speed if she can quit from biting her. Just, come on. Oh, a little bounce through there. She's somewhat exercised already, so she might be a little bit lazy for us here. But there she comes. Look at that. That's a pretty good hold right there. Almost didn't fall over right there, so that's pretty fun. Come on over. Come on, come on, come on. She's very responsive to our voices and our come here commands, as you can see. <clears throat> so we've, uh, you know, just been exercising her. Send her back the other way. See if she'll go back over there without falling over. Oh no. She's trying to so, turn around. Yeah, she's trying to turn around. There's a good little run. Anyways, she's I feel like she's advancing as far as speed and strength. Because this is really her second exercise within an hour, and she's usually a little weaker, so but that's going pretty good. So other exciting news. Yesterday was the first day, right? That she turned over. Yeah. So we put her down on the ground in here because it finally was warm enough. The floor wasn't so cold. There you go. And she finally, although it was very frustrating for her to be down there for so long, she quit trying to bite me. Quit trying to bite me. <laughs> it was frustrating for her to be down there for so long struggling. And it's frustrating for us, ooh, about bounced the wrong way there, for her to try to roll over and cry and look at us like, why aren't you helping? But uh, after many struggles and, of course, many weeks of trying, she finally rolled over onto her belly and then quickly fell back onto her side and her back. But then she rolled over again we need to get you a toy and again. Like and I think she did it three four times yesterday and she's been doing it pretty regular today down there right yeah. so she's been rolling over on the ground down there and maybe we'll try that out here in a little bit and uh, try to get that on video to show you as she, she does this little bite thing look at that isn't that something come here okay you just look kind of half tired so anyways we'll run her she's done pretty good so we've been trying for the longest time trying to figure out what's going on with this puppy and we've had some different ideas and things. And yesterday, oh, here comes mama dog. Anyways, yesterday I was uh, looking through some videos on YouTube, an unrelated co uh, topic, and started searching that out and trying to discover what was going on with that person. And it was totally not have anything to do with a dog or anything. And it took me down a little little rabbit hole or whatever they call it and i ended up asking some different questions to google there and lo and behold i came up with what we believe almost to complete certainty that this dog has all right and uh that hurts blue i'll tell you what it is here in just a minute if i can figure out how to pronounce it oh oh there it is oh 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 that's a good move look at that that's pretty cool so anyways, it's called Cerebellar, and put it right over here, hypoplasia, and that's my best guess at how to say it, as I could not find how to say it, so Cerebellar hypoplasia, and uh, after we located that, looked it up what it is, I've seen some other videos of the puppies, and it was like a light bulb went off in our heads, and uh, thank God, it just, uh, I guess he showed us where... And what it was so now we know what we believe it is and that's so we can put a name to it and we can go from there the kind of bad news is I don't think it's curable and it's just uh, manageable and we can try to train her up with as much things as we can to get her to walk so that's what we're trying to do right now but pretty exciting that we kind of feel like we know what it is finally and what it is is the cerebellum right Cere it, Beller something didn't develop correctly <clears throat> right there in her nervous system and so i guess technically the vet was on the right track he just didn't have a name for me 
to what it was, but definitely the cerebral thing did not develop correctly. And that's controls the motor movements. Yeah, controls the motor movements and the muscles and whatnot. But anyways, so at least we know what it is as she bounces back and forth. So maybe we can try this floor thing out here for a minute. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the floor. Okay, so we've put her on this little piece of remnant. <laughs> and uh, that's a joke between me and my wife. <clears throat> anyway, so as she's sitting here, laying here, uh, we also took her to a second chiropractor appointment recently. And uh, he did some more work on her. And he did find that her neck was in fact slightly out and twisted to one side. So she does have... A twist in her. Look at that. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that was pretty close, huh? That's almost a win right there. So her neck is twisted and out. So we have another appointment with him coming up in another week, week and a half. About every two weeks right now because we felt like it really helped get her straightened out there. And every time we take her to the chiropractor, it seems to really get her... A little bit more energized and feeling better to try certain things. Come on, Blue. And the neck control. Her neck gets more control. Yeah, her neck gets more control because it's not quite so twisted out. But it's going to take some time. And then Daisy's going to come down here and just spoil all the fun. But you guys got to see her. Oh, she's going to try again? Or she? No, she's going for a nipple. Never mind. She. <laughs> Anyway, so maybe we'll uh, try it again, and if I can get it filmed here, I'll show you. But as you can see, she can flip over off of her back now. And that's really encouraging, and maybe she'll do it now that she left. So it's pretty encouraging because she's never done that, and she's done it several times now. But man, she's just, I think she's tired and lazy. At least we got one out of her. Come on. You're going the wrong way, kid. You're going the wrong way. Come on. Is she stuck? Come on, Blue. Come on, Blue. Come on. Come on. Come on, Blue. Come on. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Come on. Get your, get your arm out. Come on, Blue. She just gets her arm stuck. Ah, uh, if she get her a little arm out of there. That's a win right there, guys. That's pretty exciting. I don't know. That is definitely more than she's ever done. If she can just get that leg out of there, there, that's that's a win right there. That's it. We we'll call that a rollover right there, guys. That is so impressive. I don't even know how to describe it. And there she goes again. She's got to work on getting that left arm out a little bit more, and then hopefully we can go to crawling. So hopefully next week, check it out as maybe this will turn into a rollover into a crawl. And maybe a walk. So, anyways, there's the update, guys. She's seven weeks old. And uh, she's really advancing, I think. And like I said, we have a name for it now. And I'll put it up on the screen again right there. That's what we believe it is. If anybody has any thoughts or opinions on that, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Let us know if you have any experience with that, as we do not. So we're going on the fly, as they say. But there she is. And we're, uh, we keep trying and she keeps trying harder, but we'll catch you in about another week on another update on Baby Blue.